Hey guys, in this video I'm going to share with you all the ultimate strategy to easily win when you are playing Rafaela. Well, there you have it. That's the ultimate secret strategy to win most of your games with Rafaela. At first, I was hesitant to share it because it's a very powerful strategy, but I just felt that it's my duty to share all my knowledge with you all. The only thing I ask in return if you can hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. Winky face. Anyway, Rafaela is considered troll pick by many but in certain team composition, she can do extremely well. Remember, this strategy is the horse in front and Rafaela with her long staff comes from behind. Oh yeah! It works almost 69% of the time. Healing prayers for you. We stand with the innocent. This not looking good. The strategy might fail because this horse seems to prefer Missy Star's long stick. Oh yeah. Losing makes me chill what I have. Healing for everyone. Everyone regrets. This strategy is in jeopardy. If this continue, we might lose him forever. You are your own. And we just lost all the early advantages just like that. Absolutely interesting. This means Itar is really golly with his stick. The ultimate strategy is falling apart. I never expected that many of my teammates would be mesmerized by Minsitar.
Now I have fallen victim to him as well. Absolutely naughty. I decide to try my best to bring Granger back to our side, but the chances are very slim. Things are starting to look quite dicey. Good thing that we got an alien in our team. They don't have any human needs. For everyone. We haven't been able to push any turrets, so it's important that we get this kill so we can finally get a turret. Their female cat has been farming non-stop. It will be quite hard to stop her now. Healing for everyone. Healing prayers for you. Healing for everyone. Give the moment. Make it count. Although we are getting some kills here and there, we are definitely way behind. But remember, when you are behind, you will have a better chance at overcoming what is in front of you. Honestly, I'm not sure what am I saying. Sorry. Many of the enemies are dead. There's no reason to not chase him down. Healing for everyone. Many people underestimate Rafaela's damage, but just look at this. Son Dustin seems to know that you are not supposed to stay in the dragon form for a long time. Prayers 
for you. Live the moment. Make it Sometimes, by instinct, I can detect a film a cat when they're nearby. Healing for everyone. Just look at the insane damage. Only the Roy is alive. We can definitely turret dive and kill her and probably end the game as well. Well, it is what it is. But I cannot really blame them, because maybe we all just wanted to enjoy the game a little bit longer. Since my team didn't want to end the game a moment ago, I thought they wanted to enjoy the game a little bit longer, so I decided to do the same. Smiley face. This alpha is underestimating Rafaela's damage. They can instantly burst me down, so I need to just keep hitting and running. I forced them to go back to heal, now we can end the game. In the end, this strategy comes down to which team can control the sticks better. In this case, I obviously outshone the Minsitar as the game went on. I truly hope that you managed to learn a lot from this video.